The KMT said Monday that its fight to block U.S. pork containing ractopamine isn't over. In a press conference, the party said it will rally its 22 local council caucuses behind a national signature drive to put the pork issue on a referendum next year. The signature drive is already underway with the goal of collecting 500,000 signatures by March 2021. Also underway are efforts by Taizong and other KMT-controlled regions to close off their borders to U.S. pork. The battle at the Legislative Yuan is over, but the KMT hasn't given up. At a press conference on Monday, the opposition party announced it will mobilize its caucuses in 22 local councils to overturn the ban's lifting with a referendum. The party hopes to gather 500,000 signatures by the end of February 2021. The DPP had foisted this racto pork policy upon Taiwan as if launching a surprise attack. This government, especially the executive yuan, is lacking in communication with society. On top of that, the self-castration of the DPP legislative caucus and this whole series of developments serve to highlight the two major failings of the DPP government. The first is the deterioration of our representative democracy. The second is the deterioration of food safety management mechanisms. Don't let your political moves undermine our epidemic prevention efforts. Keep that in mind, KMT, please. Ahead of the lifting of the import ban, several local governments have produced local ordinances that ban all traces of rectopamine in pork. The ordinances conflict with national policy and they vary from region to region. In response, the executive yuan said it planned to streamline all regulations across Taiwan. Premier Su Zhenchang is clearly not really interested in addressing the concerns people have. If you're going to ask local governments to have all the same policies as the central government, then please go ahead and ask the same of your central government agencies, the Ministry of National Defense, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of the Interior. Ask them all to be completely in line with the executive yuan, with you, Premier Su. Ask the legislative yuan, too. In KMT-controlled Taizhong, a local ordinance bans the transport of pork with any amount of rectopamine. As Taizhong is a major transport hub in Taiwan, reporters asked the city's health chief whether the rule would be enforced via highway checkpoints. It's more the case that there will be controls at the origin of the product and at the end point. Because before the product gets eaten, we have to inspect and do lab tests. We will focus on the origin and the destination. Managing the parts in the middle, pertaining to production and transportation, would be too monumental a task due to our limited manpower. So on that front, we will delay enforcement. All guns blazing, the KMT is taking its battle against U.S. pork to the local level, setting up a local central clash that will prove a big test for the Thai administration.